Welcome back to Let's Read Books of Skyrim Commentaries on the Mysterium Xerxes. Today we're going to finish up the series with Book 4 by Mankar Kemoran. May the holder of the fourth key know the heart thereby. The Mundex Terrain was once ruled over solely by the tyrant Joe Kings, each to their own dominion, and border wars fought between their slave oceans. They were akin to the time totems of old, yet evil, and full of mockery and profane powers. No one that lived did so outside of the sufferance of the droves. I give my soul to the Magna G, saith the joyous in paradise, for they created Merunus the razor in secret, in the very bowels of Leg, the dominion of the upstart who vanishes. Though they came from diverse waters, each get shared sole purpose, to artifice a prince of good, spinning his likeness in random swath and imbuing him with oblivion's most precious and scarce asset, hope. Deathlessly I intone from paradise, Merunus the thrift taker, Merunus god's body, Merunus the red arms that went up, Numantia, liberty. Deny not that these days shall come again, my noviates. For as Merunus threw down leg and cracked his face, declaring each of the nineteen and nine and nine oceans free, so shall he crack the serpent crown of Cyrodiil's and make federation. All will change in these days as it was changed in those. For with by the magic word Numantia, a great rebellion rose up and pulled down the towers of Chim el Garig, and the Templars of the upstart were slaughtered, and blood fell like dew from the upper wards down to the lowest pits, where the slaves with maniacal faces took chains and teeth to their jailers, and all hope was brush fire. Your dawn listens, my lord. Let all the Arubis know itself to be free. Marunus is come. There is no dominion save free will. Sons were riven as your red legions moved from leg to the hinterlands of chill, a legion for each get. And Kiri was thrown down, and Draft was thrown down, and Hormagile was crushed with cold salt and forevermore called Hor, and so shall it be again under the time of gates. Under the mires, Malbog was thrown down, this old city of chains, slaked in newborn warmth and set free. Gaug and more Gaug were thrown down together in a single night of day, and shall it be again under the time of gates. Nothing but woe for NRN, which has become the pit, and seven curses on its draw. The Vermon Nymok, but for it the crusades would be as my lord's creation get, by the G, and do as thou wilt, of no fetters, but your own conscience. Know that your hell is broken, people of the Arvus, and praise the Numantia, which is liberty. That is the end of this series of books. If you did not know and have not played Oblivion, each of the first letters of each paragraph forms a hidden message, which is Green Emperor, way where tower touches Midday Sun. So Midday Sun is actually uh, the last bit in the last book. Uh, that actually... Um, harkens back to where you need to go in order to uh, do some stuff to find the mythic dawn in Oblivion. So it's very interesting. So if you didn't know that, uh, go on back and uh, replay that because it's pretty cool. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed these four books and I will see you next time.